What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video we're going to be going over the story of player 119. According to some rumors this mysterious player is going around several lobbies and begging for help. Several users have let me know that this player is being influenced by one of the biggest hackers in Among Us. I was lucky enough to encounter this mysterious player and I would recommend that you watch this video all the way through because it does get really interesting. And before we do get further into this video I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets so make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy but now let's go over the story of player 119 who is player 119? The story starts off with the boy who received a new computer from his parents. Among Us was on the rise so he decided to install it. He played the game like many of us and was just a casual player. He played for hours and hours a day and became really good. His favorite role was imposter. He realized that he was really good at imposter so he wanted to get even better than he already was. So he searched across the internet to look for ways to become better and ways to win every single game. One day a mysterious player by the name of Eris Loris joined his lobby. You also may know him as Cyrie Sorrel. Eris Loris sent one of his hacked messages in the chat. The boy saw the message and decided to check out the website that he was promoting. This was one of his biggest mistakes. When he was on the website his computer ended up getting hacked and so was his Among Us account. The boy begged Eris Loris to leave him alone and was begging for help, hoping that someone could help him. According to some users, Player119 is one of Eris Loris' accounts, and if you ever encounter him, you may see him beg in the chat for help. The reason why he does this is because he tries to lure people in who are willing to help this poor boy. If you accept to help him, you are in danger. I actually managed to encounter this mysterious player, and I'm here to tell you the whole story. So my encounter with Player119 started off on the map of Scaled. I joined a random lobby and I saw this player that I've been hearing about recently. I stayed in the game because I was really curious. I spawned in as a crewmate and when I spawned in I went over to Electrical to do my task. I wanted to make sure that I was actually useful. Let's hope we can win this game. I then walked into cafeteria and I saw this mysterious player once again just standing there. I didn't really think much of it at first so I went down into storage to do my wires. As I was about to do my wires a meeting was called. I opened up the chat and I saw that player 119 left a message. He said, help me. He kept sending the same message. I ignored him because I was afraid to get him angry. I didn't want to get his attention. Nobody was ejected and I spawned back in and I went to go do my task once again. And that is when another meeting was called. Player 119 sent the same message, help me. Brown then asked a question, Red what do you need help with? I also responded with, yeah why does he keep saying that? Brown then responded with, I know. But this mysterious player kept sending the same message. Cyan then said, he's trolling. Player 119 responded with, I need your help. Brown then asked a question, with what? A few players tried to vote him out but was unsuccessful. Nobody was ejected. For the next few minutes I was just casually doing my task and occasionally I would check up on him. But the entire time that I was playing this game he wasn't even moving. At this point I began to realize that maybe this is a real player 119. Maybe this is his ghost. As I was in navigation I was doing my wires and I made my way through weapons and into cafeteria. He was still standing there and not moving. So I made my way towards the left side of the map to see if there was any body. I then did a task in lower engine and that is when Brown killed me. I guess that means that player 119 was not the imposter. While I was a ghost I was doing a task in reactor and I saw black from the bottom of my eye. I stopped doing the task because I wanted to see if Brown would kill black. And what I was about to witness was something so bizarre. I saw that black walked up on my body. It wasn't just my body. Player 119's body was also there and his ghost was just standing there. My body was reported but I was so confused on what just happened. Player 119 was standing in the cafeteria the entire time. So how did his body end up next to mine? I have so many questions. During the meeting I opened up the chat and I saw that Player 119 said, I need help. Help me. I responded with, um, I was honestly speechless. Nobody was ejected and I saw him just standing there in the cafeteria. The same spot he was earlier when I saw him alive. Brown ended up winning the game, but the end isn't near. 
I spawned in and we were about to start the next game. And that is when I saw one of the biggest hackers on all of Among Us. It was Eris Loris, also known as Sari Sorrel. But this time he had a different name. That is quite strange. The game started and I was an imposter. But I had no username. That is quite interesting. Player 119 was just standing there as always. Since I was an imposter, I didn't have to do any tasks, so I just walked around the entire map. Hopefully nobody finds me suspicious. As I was in communications, I saw the opportunity to kill Blue. I looked around, nobody was near me. Let's take out the first crewmate. I killed Blue and I ran as fast as I could from that room. As I was in electrical, Blue's buddy was reported. And Black was the one that reported him. He then typed in the chat, it was Orange. As I was trying to come up with an excuse, player 119 said Orange. How did he know it was me when he was in the cafeteria? I put two question marks and I realized that I had no username. Black then said I saw Orange. Pink also decided to vote me out and I was doomed. Since nobody defended me in the chat, I thought I was done. And that is when White and Yellow voted for Black so I ended up tying the vote. Player 119 also voted for me. But what I find really strange is that maybe he was trying to help me. Was this his plan to help me win the game? Since he knew I was an imposter. Nobody was ejected but I had several questions. Why is he trying to help me? Since everybody knew I was an imposter, I wanted to eliminate as many crewmates as possible. My first target was Black. The reason for this is because I want to get my revenge. I took out Black in navigation. I called the reactor and I made my way towards weapons to take out my next victim. I waited for my cooldown and I took out White. As I made my way to the cafeteria to go to the reactor, I saw player 119 and he was facing in the direction that I killed those two crewmates. While I was in reactor, I saw the opportunity to kill another crewmate. It was Yellow. I killed Yellow and then ran as fast as I could. As I was trying to look for another crewmate to kill, I ended up winning the game. I spawned into the lobby and player 119 was nowhere to be seen. If you would like me to encounter player 119 once again in Among Us, let's see if we can get this video to 15,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure to do it right now so you don't miss out on any Among Us story videos. And before you go, make sure you check out these other Among Us story videos.